If I had to describe Warren in one word, I would say dignified. Definitely very wise, but also composed at all times. Devoted and human. Magnificent. Professional. Capable, steady, a man of vision. Squeezed in a few extras. I have to say that I'm very impressed with all he's done. I'm very proud of him. I just always sort of was never surprised because I just always felt he had something in him to do this. We ended up hiring Warren, and that was probably the best thing I ever did for the home. And I think that Warren is, uh, it was like a match made in heaven. Warren was perfect for us, and we were perfect for him. I just have the greatest respect for him as a person and as a competent administrator. And I told him he can't leave, but he's leaving anyway. What I can say about Warren Slavin is that he is a jewel, and he was so wonderful for now the Charles E. Smith community, but at the time, the Hebrew home. He is compassionate, he's diligent. He has been an outstanding leader. He's been a top-notch steward of this organization, and he runs it with a level of compassion that is felt throughout the community. I think about Warren, of course, in meetings, whether they're committee meetings, or one-on-one -on -one meetings with the board chair, or board meetings, but I also think about Warren serving hot dogs at the employee picnic, or being at the home run, registering runners at seven in the morning on cold, wet, ugly mornings and sunny mornings. But Warren is always there. I have a great amount of pride for my father and the passion that he has for the type of work that he does. And he's clearly had a marked impact on the home and I hear that people sing his praises all the time. Warren at the helm has, you know, been the role model for all of us. He, he's very compassionate, he's very involved with our residents and the community here, and I think he really understands, you know, the, the population that we serve. He's easy to work with, he's easy to, to talk to, he's approachable. Um, not all CEOs in my career have been that way. Warren manifests a lot of excellent qualities, I don't want to swell his his, his ego any more than I have to, but he's just a terrific guy to work with. He's a, a visionary uh, and a leader. He's a consensus builder. And he's got a great sense of humor. He has a great sense of humor, very dry sense of humor. He has a terrible singing voice. He tries really hard. When I was a kid, he had those cut-off gloves um, uh, for the karate and other stuff he was doing, and he used to go around the house acting like Billy Idol with his gloves. My dad, my dad has his goofy side for sure. He also practices transcendental meditation daily, and he also took Taekwondo for many, many years. In his younger years, people thought he looked a lot like Chuck Norris. So that was his that was his thing. I think because he leads in a quiet, dignified, but powerful way, I think that that's why he is so successful. And I also think that the, our homes are run so magnificently because our employees really respect him and admire him and are willing to work hard because they know that he's in their corner. He's recruited some uh, exceptional talent to his management team and it was really his vision to grow this organization into what it is today and his stewardship. So he's, he's really done a fantastic job, committed 22 years of his career to this organization. Work has always been a big motivating factor in his life and what his life has revolved around and what he enjoys. It really wasn't work, it was just him just what he did. One attribute that I've discovered about Warren is what a terrific listener he is. You know, it's not just the words, but he's listening for the tone and the space between the words, really discerning what someone is trying to communicate with him and share with him, and uh, asking really pertinent questions uh, in return. Having a conversation with Warren is uh, really uh, an opportunity to really share information and, uh, and explore um, the topic that you're discussing. I was uh, assigned or asked to serve on the Strategic Planning Committee and Warren was now the Executive Director. 
And if there's nothing else that Warren does well, it's strategic planning. I mean, Colonel Hurry, he, he is a strategic planner, he's a visionary, and he knows how to effectuate change. There wasn't a time where I saw him lose his temper. There wasn't a time where I saw him stumped by a question. There wasn't a time where I saw him speak demeaning to somebody. And he's a natural born leader. People gel to him, they like him, they trust him, he endears himself to them. He believes in our mission. And I think on some level, he must wake up every morning and say to himself, how can I make this place a little bit better today? Slavin's Ten Commandments. Number one, I am your CEO who has taken you off the street from the house of unemployment. Number two, you shall have no other bosses but me. Three, you shall honor your benefits and hold them in appreciation. Four, you shall not invest resources without protecting a return. You shall not serve salmon in my presence, <laughs> nor vegetable wraps. You shall bake only crispy cookies, never chewy. Number seven, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, unless it is the competition. Number eight, you shall not covet your neighbor's parking space. Number nine, you shall build it, and if they demand metrics are favorable, they will come. And finally, number 10, you shall never surprise me. These are terrific. I could probably add 10 more, but we don't have enough time. You could look at him, you could say, you know, He's brilliant, he's a leader, he's a mentor, he's a role model, um, he's a friend, and he's, he's just all around awesome. I think the one word that comes to mind when I think about Warren is genuine. He is genuinely committed to the people, not just the organization, and I think that's unique. Um, I, I think we've been absolutely uh, fortunate to have him at the helm uh, for these many years. He's had quite an impact on me as a mentor, uh, and if I had to describe him in one word, it would be thoughtful. Warren is easy to talk about. I mean, I would say if there's one word to, to describe him, it would be gentle. One word for Warren? Integrity. Warren has uh, incredible uh, honesty. Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's calm, he's cool, he's able to stay very focused, and he's able to provide a lot of wisdom and, and leadership for the organization. Obi-Wan Kenobi is one word, yes. Good luck, Warren, with your retirement from the admissions department. And don't worry, we'll still fill your empty beds. Look under mensch in the dictionary. That's my one word for Warren. You'll find his picture there. <laughs>